minutes, but right now, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, dignitaries, faculty, staff, let me introduce to you the class of May 2019. Thank you. Again, welcome. As the Dean of the School of Nursing for the past two years, I can't tell you how proud I am and everyone else that makes this possible to be here today. This is quite an accomplishment. Um, as you probably know from your, your both your family members that are standing up here. Um, this is a tremendous feat. Nursing today is asking us to be more and more in, in, in depth with the care that we give. So too does the curriculum change to make sure that we're preparing our students to be the absolute best nurses that they need to be. I wanna quickly just thank my faculty. Many are here. If you could just please take a quick stand and let the faculty, let the Folks know that, that you're here and supporting. I have many of them right here. It takes a village, and even though the School of Nursing is only the last two years of the four-year curriculum, this starts from the moment students come to visit us for um, the, the open houses that we have, the Admitted Students Day, juniors, sophomores in high school, phone calls, it all begins very, very early. There are two people in this room that I couldn't live without, I think two, I can't see, yes I can. Um, and they make my day and my life absolutely possible. And that's Kathy Sheehan, who's all the way in the back, my, separate, my administrative assistant, and Lynn Tyson, who... We are experiencing extraordinary changes in healthcare in this century, as I'm sure you're all aware of. Changes that call upon the most creative, the most analytic, and innovative skills available. While the world has the resources to reduce healthcare disparities and eliminate the gaps in healthcare that exist between various populations and groups across the globe, accomplishing this is a long-term and complicated task. Improvement in the social structure within which people live and a redistribution of resources so that all people have access to basic, just basic, universal health care is necessary and requires an unprecedented global consciousness. It is a very unsettled health care industry today, yet we know that we need to educate. We need to educate for nursing, and we need to educate for each and every one of our graduates to lean in, for each and every one of our graduates to be civically engaged, for each and every one of our graduates to understand their contribution to society as a whole. 
We are always asking ourselves here at Wagner, what can we do to prepare you for life, not just for nursing? What can we do to prepare you for life after Wagner College? You need to be a productive part of the healthcare industry and of the community, not just another nurse wherever you go. I am confident for all the years that I've been here, we've done our job. The rest is up to you to contribute to the world, to be the nurse that we know that you can be, to provide the highest level of quality care each and every day to every patient as, as, as if they're the person that you love the most in your life, to stay connected with us, to appreciate all that we have done for you, and certainly we appreciate all that you have brought to us. Congratulations and welcome to nursing. I'd like to take this moment to ask Sister Kathy to please come up for the invocation. Students, you can please sit. We ask for blessings on our graduating nurses present here today, their mentors, professors, family, and friends. Along your way, you may have asked yourself, why have I chosen to be a nurse? What do I hope to fulfill? What field of nursing has chosen me? How have I grown from my findings? The possibilities are yours today, for the pain and pleasure of self-discovery is worth nothing unless in finding yourselves you found the other. In the presence of God, let us pray. May the spirit of compassion and gentleness guide your hands in wisdom where faith abounds, in hopefulness where there is despair, in joy where there is sadness and in compassion that you share with those who are weak, neglected, and disheartened. I ask that you please place your hands, palms up in front of you to receive my blessing and the blessing of those who sit before you. I bless your hands in the name of the one we call God. May these hands bring comfort, provide care, promote healing to those they touch. Blessed are your hands that will come to know joy and sorrow. Blessed are your hands that will hear stories words cannot explain. And blessed is your touch, for your touch, now a nurse's touch, is one that will always be remembered. Congratulations and God bless you. Today's ceremony is just a little bit different in that we are honoring one of our very own. We are using today's ceremony to bestow an honorary doctorate degree on an alum and a world-renowned researcher in nursing. I'd like to call up to the stage Dr. Beverly Whipple, as well as two board members who are here today to assist us in bestowing this wonderful honor on Dr. Beverly Whipple, and that is Aletta Diamond and Kim Spiro.
as a nurse, nurse educator, and researcher, Dr. Beverly Whipple has over 40 years of helping women to feel better about themselves. Her research focuses on women's health and the sexual physiology of women. Get ready for this. She has published over 200 research articles and books in languages such as English, Spanish, Dutch, Chinese, and Japanese, just to name a few and has appeared on over 300 radio and TV programs, delivered over 800 talks and keynote speeches, and has received over 115 awards. I'm gonna cut down exactly what's in the brochure, so if you're not impressed enough with what I'm reading, you have an opportunity to read it in our little booklet. And guess what? It all began here. Beverly graduated from Wagner College with a baccalaureate degree in nursing in 1962, and that was just the beginning. She received an Alumni Achievement Award in 1983 from Wagner, an Alumni Fellow in 2007, and today we're honored, honored to bestow a Doctor of Humane Letters to her in 2019. From Wagner, she went to Rutgers and didn't stop there. A Master's in Nursing a master's degree in counseling, a PhD degree in psychobiology with a major in neurophysiology. She's also a professor emerita from Rutgers University. In 2016, at the 250th anniversary of Rutgers, she received the Rutgers Medal. Just to name a few things, in 1982 and 1983, the Philadelphia Magazine named her one of the people to watch in the world. In 2006, for their 50th anniversary, the new scientist named her one of the 50 most influential scientists in the world. 2013, she was named one of the 10 sexual revolutionaries you should know. And in 2013, in Pueblo, Mexico, a scientific research center was named in her honor. She is a member of numerous honor societies, is a fellow of the Society for Scientific Study of Sexuality Fellows, a fellow in the American Academy of Nursing, and so much more. So today, I stand before you to say that the Board of Trustees declares by this and presents in persuasion of the authority vested in the institution by charter of the state of New York and at the recommendation of the president does hereby confer Beverly Hong Whipple, PhD 62, the degree of Doctor of, Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, with all of the rights, privileges, and honors thereon to appertaining as witness our hand and seal given at Staten Island, New York on May 10, 2019. My Board of Trustees members, can I ask you to please hood? Oh, you have, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Beverly Whipple. <laughs> Beverly's husband Jim, her daughter and son, her grandchildren are here. And I'd also like to say that Dr. Karen Garassi is here, and Dr. Richard Garassi, who oftentimes has to be in about five places at the same time, is finishing up a board meeting, his very last board meeting, I believe, and will be joining us shortly. But Karen, thank you so much for being here in, 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 to support our program, and certainly Dr. Whipple. Beverly? Most of what I was going to say. <laughs> well, thank you so much. What an honor. What an honor. Uh, first of all, I want to say um, Happy National Nurses Week and congratulations to each of you for your pinning and your graduation from Wagner College 
and from the Evelyn L. Spiro School of Nursing. I'm sure you know that the public has rated nursing as the most honest and ethical profession in the past 16 years. So we are all proud to be part of the nursing profession. I've taught nursing at every level from, from diploma to associate to master's to uh, baccalaureate, master's, and PhD. I'm, as you know, best known for my research concerning women's health and women's sexual health. And I won't go through some of my accomplishments, which have already been uh, stated, but uh, I conducted most of my, my research in my own uh, physiology lab at the College of Nursing at Rutgers and fMRIs of the brain, all at Rutgers. My research started when I was a nurse. I was teaching women to do Kegel exercises for stress urinary incontinence using biofeedback. And uh, my research has expanded for over almost 40 years since then. I've been invited to speak about my research findings in 93 countries, given over 800 presentations, and I want to share with you all the joy and fulfillment I've had by being part of research projects and have, that have positive effects on people's health. I hope to encourage each of you to think about research questions as you are addressing nursing needs with your patients, and then to read about your research questions and find others who are interested in these research concerns. We have to advance our profession with new research, which each of you are capable of doing. So please try to incorporate research into your professional career. You are the future of nursing. This is just the beginning of your career, and you are well prepared to move on to wherever your dreams take you. A big congratulations to each of you, and my best to each of you in your nursing career. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations again, Dr. Beverly Whipple. I'd like to call Dr. Alexandra Zagorin, the interim undergraduate director, up to the podium, where she will introduce our student speakers and then be instrumental in the presentation of Penn's ceremony. Dr. Zagorin. Thank you, Dean Tucker. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, families, friends, students. Um, I would like to take this moment, uh, first of all, to recognize one of our faculty members who could not be here today, um, and that's Professor Patricia Hughes. She sent a short no uh, note to us last night because she really, truly wanted to be here. But she's celebrating her own, her daughter's graduation today. And this is what she wrote. Where does the time go? It feels like yesterday I was advising you as you prepare to embark on your nursing school journey. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Although I'm not physically present with you today, you are all in my thoughts. I have enjoyed the small role I played in your nursing education, and it has been so rewarding watching your experience, your aha moments. Make us proud by being the best patient advocates, caregivers, and educators. Always remember you are caring for people at their most vulnerable moments. 
Hold the trust that is placed in you with honor and privilege. Show empathy and compassion. Treat your patients and their families as you would want to be treated. You are the future of nursing. I wish you all the best life has to offer today and always, and I look forward to hearing about you all uh, and what you have accomplished. Thank you. Tina Patricia Hughes. And I just want to add that Professor Hughes plays an instrumental role in organizing such beautiful events as our pinning ceremonies. Now I would like to say a few words for me. Um, dear class of 2019, this is a truly extraordinary day. The day when you gather with your families, your friends, your loved ones. You gather here today to celebrate, to give thanks, and to rejoice in your accomplishments. Each of you has achieved an important milestone in your educational journey that is celebrated with this pinning ceremony today. The degree you're getting today isn't any college degree. It's an amazing career choice which requires dedication and passion empathy and understanding, advocacy and ethics, integrity and leadership, continuous learning and educating others. It is a true challenge for me to articulate all that you will see and learn as you enter this profession that is more unique, gratifying and versatile than I could ever uh, that I could have ever imagined when I was sitting in your seats almost 25 years ago. Very soon you will start using your mind, your heart, your whole physical well-being and your soul to tend to the needs of others. I have good news and bad news for you today. The bad news is that the hard work is not over. As you start your first job, you will expect it to work long, uh, hard hours, you will be expected to skip your lunch break, you may miss some family events, you will forget about your bathroom needs, etc. <laughs> but there's also good news. Every day you will be enriched and rewarded for your experiences. Patients and families will forever remember your thoughtful gestures and your healing presence. You will find that you live with more purpose because of your appreciation for um, how unpredictable life can be and how some people can be truly misfortunate. You are now agents of change in healthcare. Go and do the best you can out there. Make advocacy the core of your work for your patients, for your colleagues, and for future generations. Speak out and fight for people who are unable to fight for themselves inspire others and continue to give. Give back to yourselves, give back to your families, give back to your communities, and give back to the School of Nursing. And let me share with you uh, some advice in the form of a quotation from Margaret Thatcher, who said, watch your thoughts, for they will become your actions. Watch your actions, for they'll become habits. Watch your habits, for they will forge your character. Watch your character, for it will make your destiny. It is with great enthusiasm today that we no longer call you our students, but we do call you our colleagues. Congratulations and the best wishes for each of you in, the lives, in your lives and your professional careers. Now, without further ado, it is my pleasure to present to you all the class of May of 2019. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. I'm President Karasi, President of the College, and I am in the middle of a board of trustees meeting in an executive session across the campus. My last meeting as president with the board, so you can imagine it's important. 
but I did want to get here for a little bit uh, and say just two or three things. First of all, congratulations to all of you. Tomorrow we'll have a special celebration. Hopefully it won't thunder and rain, but uh, maybe, maybe it's the Game of Thrones telling us that the, what is it, the, uh, who, who's the famous, uh, the Winter King, is that what it is? Or the Night King, the Night King will be talking to us, or maybe it'll be the dragons coming over abroad saying goodbye to you. Uh, but, but I wanted to say congratulations. This is, you are, I, I often say about nursing, it was the inspiration for the Wagner Plan, which is now 20 years old. It really is. Learning by doing was essentially what we were trying to accomplish and have accomplished with that plan. So nursing was my inspiration. And this has been a program from its inception in 1941 under the leadership of Dean Mary Burr and her star student who went on, who was Evelyn Linforce, who became Evelyn Linforce Spiro after she met Don. Where's Kim? Kim is in the audience somewhere. And their daughter, Kim Spiro, is here, and she's on our board of trustees. Um, so since that very beginning, this program has been a leadership program that happens to be teaching nursing, not a nursing program that you get leadership skills. Because I've watched the nurses over the years from this program. I see many of the alumni leading wings of hospitals, hospital systems. You've seen Beverly Whipple here, who's gone to a distinguished research career. You will take your place amongst them. This is just, it's a, it's a marvelous program, and I'm so proud of you and proud of it and under the leadership of now of Matt Tooker and the faculty of, of the School of Nursing. Secondly, I wanted to congratulate Beverly, who has just been a superstar at all her career. And I just, I'm sorry I missed the very moment of giving you the honorary doctorate, but I'm so proud of you. You joined a legion of folks who've received honorary doctorates, and you were one of the most distinguished ones we've ever honored. Thank, congratulations, Beverly. And I wanted to congratulate the families. You've been supporting these, these young students, now young professionals going forward. Without your support, they wouldn't be here. They know that. And you know, I'm gonna say in my speech tomorrow, which will be my last speech at Wagner, which is really about you, not about me. But I'm gonna say that having that uncritical support of people who love you is such an important part of your success, both personally and professionally in life. So thank you all for me. I've gotta run back to the meeting, but I just wanted to interrupt and say congratulations to all of you. President, for a few more weeks, Dr. Richard Garassi, thank you so much, Richard, for running over. I'll pass the program back to Dr. Zagorin now, and we will hear from our student speakers. Janine Abdelayam. Um, okay, so I'm going to introduce first this, our student speakers. The first speaker is Michael Bonomo. <laughs> Didn't think I was that bad. <laughs> Good morning, family, professors, and the 2019 graduating class of the Evelyn Spiro School of Nursing. It is an unimaginable honor that I have been given the opportunity to speak on behalf of this amazing group of future nurses on this unforgettable day. Today we dress in the color white, which symbolizes safety, purity, cleanliness, and brilliance. This group of ambitious, admirable, and compassionate young men and women that join me here today bring nothing but bliss into my life. Their smiles are more contagious than a common cold, and our bond is stronger than a MRSA infection. We eat together, we drink together, we complain together, we are family together. After all, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> I want to begin by thanking the professors in the School of Nursing for helping us pave this road to success in our lives. Most, if not all of you, besides having a career in nursing, have a life, a family of your own, and are there to teach and role model for all 64 of us, week by week. As much as I'm sure we want to say we wish we could stay here forever, Sadly, we must now part ways. To our instructors, we thank you for showing us the ropes of nursing. You've helped transform our knowledge into skill. Second, thank you to our parents, family members, and friends for being there for us every step of the way, not only physically and emotionally, but also financially, for our parents agreeing to be $1,000 in debt. 
Because of me, my dad would no longer get the sports car he wishes he had. <laughs> and as much as I want to thank you parents, I must also remind you, please stop thinking because we are newly grad nursing students. That means we know everything. <laughs> as, soon as, we, as soon as you get a stomach ache, you run to us and say, what do you think it is? What should I do? Is it contagious? <laughs> the next time my mom asks me how much longer she has to live over a simple stomach ache, I will look at her and say, three, two, one. <laughs> I can remember the first week of nursing school. I wish I could say it felt like yesterday, but the truth is, it doesn't. It has been so long that I can see gray hairs on my head. My back hurts from carrying around the 50-pound textbooks all day, and I now need classes to sit. <laughs> Together, we sat through eight-hour-long pediatric and OB classes, cried our way through med surge, meditated our way through holistic, triumphant through <laughs> sleepless nights, early mornings, and never-ending 12-hour shifts at our preceptor shifts, proving we were one day worthy to have that RN title at the end of our names. And for those of you who are wondering what it is like to be a nursing student, I want you to think of Snow, Wife's, of Snow White's seven doors. From the constant lack of sleep you get, we are grumpy, sleepy, and dopey. <laughs> After taking care of patients all day, risking our own immune systems, we become constantly sneezy. When we get things wrong, we become bashful, and when we get things right, we feel like dark. But today, lucky for all of you today, we feel like happy. Sometimes during nursing school, you may even feel like a prisoner. There are no hats, scarves, or smartwatches allowed to be worn while we are taking our exams. We are even told to take the labels off our water bottles, as if there is a secret message inside the bottle. No wonder why they say drinking water is good for you. Apparently it has the answers for our exams inside. You learn that nursing is both a science and an art. We learn the science from the textbooks and our professors, learning what normal vital signs look like, how to draw up medications, and as scary as this sounds, we've learned how to give these medications. But the art part of nursing cannot be taught in a textbook. It is your demeanor as a person. It comes out when you are watching the face of an older person, holding the hand of a dying patient with no one else by their bedside, holding a newborn in your arms as they look at you with their wandering eyes in their first moments of life. Yes, even when you are wiping someone else's rear end while maintaining their dignity, that is an art. In the beauty and in the ugly of it all, it is in those moments we are more than just people. We are selfless and caring. We are educators and advocates. We are someone else's ears when they need to be listened to, and someone else's voice when they need to be heard. The people next to me have worked extraordinarily hard to make it here today. We have put in the face time in our clinicals, at hospitals all over the biggest city in the United States. From Richmond University to Bellevue Hospital, all the way up to 168th Street at New York Presbyterian, we have made our mark. We have held the hand of the sick, fed the stomachs of the hungry, cared for the wounded, and helped the ill-minded. Mahatma Gandhi once said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Each and every one of you here today have done that and will continue to do that for the rest of your lives. Save one life, you are a hero. Save 100 lives, you are a nurse. Be the nurse you want to be. Be the nurse you want someone to remember you by. Tomorrow is our last day together. We will smile and probably cry, but do, do not cry. You are sad. Cry in happiness for achieving something that is great for yourself, but is greater than just yourself. I thank you all for a memorable two years, and I wish you all nothing but the best. But in the wise words of Kathy B, the party's over. <laughs> to introduce another student speaker. Her name is Sienna Demas and she will speak about the history of the nursing pen. Good morning everybody. Thank you Mike. Um, so I want to start off by just thanking all of the family, friends, and our loved ones who have sacrificed their Thursday morning to be here with us today. Um, I want to thank the School of Nursing faculty who have been by our side from our very first fundamentals class all the way to where we are today, and of course my class of 2019. Now I know we have a lot of nursing professionals and soon to be nursing professionals in here, and I don't know about all of you, but when I told my parents that we would be having this pinning ceremony, they had no idea what that was. 
So now I'm happy to stand here today and share with all of you, our families, friends, and loved ones, a glimpse into our special nursing tradition of the nursing pin and ceremony and everything that it symbolizes. So the story of the nursing pin begins 1,000 years back in time. It was the medieval period in 12th century crusades, um, violence and war waged throughout Europe, but from the bloodshed comes forward a group of holy monks. Now these monks had built a sort of hospital within the Holy Lands to aid the pilgrims of war in their travel. They would um, nurse back to health the injured knights from battle, and around the same time, these Knights of Hospitaller had adopted the symbol of the Maltese Cross, which was identified as the symbol of the Christian warrior. So these knights bestow the symbol of the Maltese Cross upon the holy monks for their devotion for caring for the ill and the injured. Now fast forward to the 19th century, where a young woman by the name of Florence Nightingale comes into the picture. As we have learned incessantly throughout our time in nursing school, our girl Flo is the most prominent founder of modern day nursing and has played a major part in professionalizing the role of nurses. But having been born into a wealthy upper class British family, this was not such a highly esteemed job for Florence at the time. During this time, nursing was seen as a dirty and lowly job for the poor and uneducated women. But Florence had such a strong desire to devote her life to the service of others that she eventually opposed her family's wishes for her to become the esteemed role of a proper housewife and worked hard to educate herself in the art and science of nursing. Now during this time, the Crimean War was underway and Florence began hearing word of the horrific conditions of the hospitals for the injured soldiers. So care for these soldiers was really poor, the nurses were overworked and exhausted, and there was just a sheer disregard for any hygiene. So Florence was the first person to come up with the idea that death rates were due to issues such as poor nutrition, lack of supplies, stale air, and overworking of medical staff. From this, Florence moved forward um, with her career to advocate for the great importance of sanitary living conditions. In addition, Florence was known for her unmatched compassion and empathy. A quote from a soldier in the British Times in the midst of the Crimean War read, she is a ministering angel without any exaggeration in these hospitals, and as her slender form glides quietly along each corridor, every poor fellow's face softens with gratitude at the sight of her. When all the medical officers have retired for the night and silence and darkness have settled down upon those miles of the prostrate sick, she may be observed alone with a little lamp in her hand, making her solitary rounds. This led Florence to her nickname of the Lady with the Lamp. After the war in 1860, Florence founded her very own Nightingale Training School for Nurses at the St. Thomas's Hospital. From the founding of this institution, nursing was finally seen as an esteemed profession for the heroic and honorable. With the founding of this institution, Florence was able to influence the nursing profession forever by teaching all of her radical ideas such as hand hygiene. For her influential work in the nursing profession and devotion to helping others, Florence was awarded the Red Cross of St. George, similar to that of the cross that had been awarded to the Knights of the Crusades. Florence then decided to pass along the tradition by awarding the top students in her classes upon their graduation with a Medal of Excellence embossed with the same Red Cross symbol to honor them for their hard work and their dedication to nursing. In 1880, Bellevue Hospital also adopted this practice by presenting pins to the graduates of their nursing school. Soon after, by 1916, all nursing schools throughout the United States began presenting pins to all graduates of their nursing programs. By this time, these pins did not just contain the symbol of the Red Cross anymore, but rather their own unique pins to represent their own institutions. Today, we continue this tradition. The class of 2019 is ecstatic to finally be pinned as nurses by our loved ones, who have supported us so much throughout this wild ride that is nursing school. We remember all the things that we're representing by being given the honor to wear these pins on our chests. The first crusaders to remind us that nursing is a simple act as old as time. Florence Nightingale, who encompasses all that nursing is and who paved the road for all of us to be standing here today, proud of our professional degrees. And our classmates and faculty who have unconditionally supported us throughout this bumpy but wonderful journey. And lastly, Evelyn L. Spiro, whose name we are humbled to wear engraved into our pins and who we will remember in our hearts for all of time. If it were not for her and for her love of nursing, we would not have the honor of graduating from a nursing program that stands at the forefront of quality education. Moving forward into our nursing careers, we're inspired by her to continue to fight for quality education 
and quality care and to make her proud each and every day. So now please join me in celebrating the memory of Evelyn L. Spiro in the class of 2019. Thank you, students. We are now ready for the presentation of pens. Since I practiced my first name already. <laughs> Janine Abdelayam. Janine is being pinned by her mom and dad. is being thanked by her mom. <laughs> Alexandra Anzalone is being pinned by her mom. <laughs> Leslie Bautry is by her mom. Michael Bonomo is being pinned by his sister, who is also a Wagner alum. Christina Calabra is being pinned by her mom and dad. Vincent Caldera is being pinned by his brothers.
Kayla Siansky is being pinned by her mom and dad. Thomas Coffey is being pinned by his mother. <laughs> who is also a Wagner alum and a nurse. <laughs> Jacqueline Cunningham is being pinned by her mother. Miranda Corto is being pinned by her mom and dad. Karina Kuzamano is being pinned by her mom. <laughs> Maria Diamico is being pinned by her mom and dad. Amanda DiMarinis is being pinned by her mom. Linda Jean Delfini is being pinned by her mom. Sienna Dimas is being pinned by her dad. Nicole Di Pasquale is being pinned by her mom and dad.
Anissa Jelosevic is being pinned by her mom and dad. Bellis is being pinned by her mom. <clears throat> Nicole Darity is being pinned by her mom. Iman Yulenberg is being pinned by her mom. <laughs> Kelly Faria is being pinned by her aunt, who is also a registered nurse. is being pinned by her mom and dad. is being pinned by her son.
pinned by her mom. Alexandra Joseph is being pinned by her mom. Alison Krauser is being pinned by her mom and her brother. Her mom is an alum from Wagner College. Alexa Kroshinsky is being pinned by her mom and dad. Jan Kucherok is being pinned by his mother. <laughs> Gina La Sorsa is being pinned by her mom and dad. Tony Ann Lamarada is being pinned by her mother. Kathleen Levy is being pinned by her mom. Alyssa Leatherhouse is being pinned by her mom and dad. Ilana Levitch is being pinned by her mother. Oh. 
Sarah Limani is being penned by her mom. Jen Lukasevic is being pinned by her father. Cheryl Manoli is being pinned by her mom and her twin sister. Angela Minatilla is being pinned by her mom and dad. Erica Midnick is being pinned by her mom. Michael Ochur Grosso is being pinned by his mom and his uncle. Angelica Pakovsky is being pinned by her mom, who is also a registered nurse. Maria Papadakos is being pinned by her mom and dad. Ursula Pavka is being pinned by her mom. Julia.
Maria Piscopo is being penned by her mom and dad. Liana Rabato is being penned by her mother and her mentor, who is a registered nurse at Anna Wagner grad, Victoria Vega. Alyssa Segal is being painted by her mother. Jalissa Salazar is being pinned by her mom and dad. Vincent Salerno is being penned by his sister, who is also a Wagner alum and a registered nurse. Christina St. Georgie is being penned by her mom. Caitlin Sircone is being penned by her mom. Catherine Scarfo is being penned by her mom. is being penned by her mom.
Nicoletta Stefano is being pinned by her mom. Justine Stowe is being pinned by her mom. Taylor Swanberg is being pinned by her mom. Sanal Thacker is being pinned by her mom. Dominic Tomasulo is being pinned by his mom. Melina Woods is being pinned by her brother. <laughs> Angela Zagami is being pinned by her sister. but definitely not least, Cheryl Tabia is being pinned by um, Erin Christiana, and she's our only registered nurse um, graduating today having um, this pinning ceremony. So 
this completes our list of students. Once again, congratulations, class of 2019, you did it. Again, my honor and pleasure to introduce Dr. Beverly Whipple, who will lead the graduates in the Florence Nightingale Pledge. If you could please join along with her. Thank you. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession faithfully. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standards of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family matters coming to my knowledge within my practice. With integrity, I will endeavor to devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. I want to ask the graduates to please remain standing. And I want to give Dr. Beverly Whipple this lovely bouquet of flowers as she returns to her seat. Thank you. Students, if I could ask if you could just put the pledge on your seat and remain standing with your candles in front of you. Connor, can you dim the house lights a little bit? Thank you. On Saturday, May 23rd, at the age of 90, Dr. Evelyn Linford Spiro, graduate in 1949 with a bachelor's degree and an honorary doctorate in 92, passed away. In 2017, she was preceded by, in death by her husband, Dr. Donald W. Spiro, also a graduate in 49 and an honorary doctorate in 88. Donald was chairman emeritus and lifetime member of the Wagner College Board of Trustees. For any of you that are not familiar with Wagner's campus, it only takes a few moments to realize their love of this campus and their generosity because their name is bestowed on many of our buildings. Evelyn met Donald when they were students at Wagner College, both graduating the same year, 1949. They married and together raised and nurtured three children. Donald, a 1975 Wagner grad, Corey Lee, who just passed last year, and Kimberly, currently a Wagner College trustee and here with us today. Evelyn was one of the very earliest graduates of the college nursing program, and she went on to become the youngest and first operating room supervisor nurse in the history of Staten Island Hospital. Our pamphlet tells you a little bit more about Evelyn, but what I would like to say is that in 1992, our then Reverend Lyle Butu, who has also passed, spoke of Evelyn's good fortune and generosity to this college and to many other organizations. Today, however, in honor of her mom, I would like to thank Kimberly Spiro, whose love of her parents and commitment to the legacy of her mom and our School of Nursing is so admirable and appreciated. We value and respect you tremendously, Kim. 
I'd like to just give you a bouquet of flowers as well, a small token, and thank you so much for being here today. So much. Um, it's a little tough, I'm sorry. For the past 10 years, my mother's had Alzheimer's. And give me a second. <laughs> She's had Alzheimer's. And any time a doctor would come in to talk to my mother, they would say, So you used to be a nurse. And my mother would snap out of wherever she was and she'd say, Excuse me, young man, I am a nurse. So that's something they will always have with you. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Sorry to put you on the spot, Kim. I'll get yelled at later. <laughs> but I wanted you all to see Kim and to also hear her. I just want to thank another member of our Board of Trustees, Aletta Diamond, for being here today, for giving of her time, and also for assisting us in this wonderful ceremony. Aletta. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our ceremony. I can't thank you all enough for being here. I want to tell the graduates what we've been saying throughout the morning. Go on and be the best that you can be each and every day. Make us proud as you have been doing throughout this program. Tell us where you're at. Come back for Nurses Night Out next year. Always remember where it all began and always keep Wagner in your heart and certainly in your thoughts. Stay on Facebook with us. Your Wagner email will stay forever. Keep in touch. Let us know where you are. Let us know what mountains you're climbing and what accomplishments you've had. Thank you very much.